Hey, Joseph, it's Thea again. Thank you as always for your time. Just Garrett and I are back again with another question for you. Hi, Joseph. Thanks again for letting us ask the gesture. As we have been getting into the Yocto project, so some of the students uh, like seems to be struggling around with how the custom images are handled and how they are they can be edited inside the Yocto project manually. So Joseph, we were hoping that you could share a couple of the best practices around working with custom images. Hey Thea, glad you asked. That's an excellent question because a lot of folks tend to start out by tinkering uh, their image install directives in local.conf, but that's really not a good idea. It's, it's way better if you write start off with a, with a completely custom image. You know, we already have a layer we can use for that. And so we got to start out with, uh, um, with creating our very first custom image. We got to go into some form of recipes directory, create um, a directory called images. That's a canonical path for images to go into. And then we just grab some some uh, simple image from from the uh, Pocky, which usually usually is just to, to get started. Recipes core um, core no core image minimal. Stuff. Uh, let's call it uh, image Thea. BB. Again, that's a recipe. And we can edit it. We re require core image minimal. I think we, we, we need to, um, to expand that to uh, recipes core images because we're in a different layer by now and here we can now add whatever we, we, we want including um, image install append equals bc for example which would make our image install bc and that's it <laughs> 